What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I just want to say thank you to the people who viewed my uh, first video. Today I want to review something a little bit different and it's not necessarily a different product but I want to go into more detail about it and things like that that other people might not know. So the glasses that I'm actually going to be reviewing today is actually not going to be sunglasses. It's going to be my prescription glasses. Today I'm reviewing the Oakley Marshall 53 with satin black. So basically the reason why I like this model a lot is you still get the you still get the rubber on the side. Still get the unobtainium. Um, I like the satin black finish in the front. I've never actually went with any type of bold frame lenses. I mean bold frame frames. Yeah, I guess. Um, but I, I like them. It's a different look. It's it's the it's the more new thing. My old glasses were frameless and wire and it wasn't, you know, wasn't really for me anymore. Um, but with these ones though, you do get a bold look. Um, I kind of like that bold look. And I like the fact that the logo is very dominant on the sides. Very, very dominant. Plus two, it's, it's a pretty simple uh, look. You know, you got the matte black in the front. You got like the brushed on the side with the black icon. And then you have the rubber. The reason why this review is going to be a little bit different is because of the fact that I actually got my lenses done at Oakley. So I walked up into my local Oakley store and I was asking them, you know, I wanted to know a bunch of questions about prescription because I know that a lot of people have questions about prescription and now that Oakley is starting to have optometrists in their in their stores, in their O stores and things like that, um, it's, def it's definitely a big and new thing uh, that people are unaware about uh, as far as Oakley goes. So basically I walked in, um, I had my prescription in hand and I talked to the local guy there, the optometrist, and basically he set me up. I brought the frames into as well. I brought the I had bought the frames at another store and I brought them with me. And basically uh, he he sat me down and what they have to do is they put up they take the uh, the little plastic lenses that these uh, frames come with out and they put this crazy funky uh, like thingy majigger on it and basically have you put them on and then he lines up some stuff and it's pretty cool actually they take uh, they take an iPad they put in your prescription and everything like that and then what they do is they take a photo of the glasses on your face with the uh, it's like a thing that lines up the measurements for your eyes and uh, seeing where your eyes fit inside the lens he takes a photo of you and I think that's really cool um, it's definitely technologically advanced and it's really nice uh, it's it's a quick process honestly you should be in there you should be done by 25 30 minutes at the most I mean depending on how long it takes for you to pay but uh, yeah basically they set you up like that uh, they get your eyes lined up and things like that and basically what they're doing with that is they're um, they're lining up the focal point of the lens to your eyes because everyone's eyes sit differently inside the frame so that's what they did with me and uh, then I wanted to ask him a lot of questions and things like that. In order to get prescription glasses done in uh, through Oakley, you have to live in the US. And the reason why you have to live in the US is for some reason or another, Oakley does not ship prescription lenses internationally. Um, I'm guessing that is something that they're probably gonna work on. Um, and also too, another thing is they do not make the lenses in the store they only take measurements and when they finally come in they put them in and, and make sure they're all good to go and things like that but they do not make them in the store they actually send the order out to headquarters uh, headquarters cuts them and then basically they ship it they ship the lenses to the optometrist at the store and then the optometrist puts them in and gives you a phone call and you're good to go basically so let me talk about the lens next so yeah, the, the lenses in these frames are actually made of plutonite, which is the same material that they make the sunglass lenses out of. And one of the nice things about that is, not only is the frame really light, but the fact that you're not using glass lenses, you're using plutonite lenses, which is the type of Oakley uh, lenses that they use in their sunglasses, that's really light as well. So basically, overall, you get a very, very light feel. I mean, I can barely feel these on my head. and. Also with Oakley's three point fit system that they use in their sunglasses, they also use in their prescription frames. So basically I only feel them on my nose 
and on the back of my ear. And honestly, I've had these for over a day now and I have no problems whatsoever. I can honestly, bear, they kind of feel like they're actually gonna fall off my face. But I mean, if I wiggle, if I wiggle like that, they're still on there, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have a problem as far as, you know, them falling off or anything like that. Um, I would say these are kind of like a cross between like a sporty and, uh, and a formal look. But um, no, nah, I mean, they feel great. They're, they're not, they're not too heavy, they're not too light. I feel like it's a perfect amount of uh, weight on your face, you know? You feel like you got something there, but it's definitely not gonna bother you. So with the lenses, also you could have gotten transition. Uh, basically, if people don't know what transition is, transition means that it's if you're on the inside with no UV coming through, uh, the, the lenses are clear. Once you walk outside, the UV reacts to the lenses and basically turns it into like a grayish color. It's not going to be black black, but it's going to be it's going to be pretty dark. It's definitely going to be dark enough. And with that, you de you still get all the types of Oakley UV protection that you do would get in the sunglasses as well. I didn't choose to do that. One of the reasons why is because I wanted to do I wanted to have glasses separate, and then if I wanted to wear uh, a tinted lens, aka a sunglass, I would wear my contacts and then wear my Oakley glasses. I didn't I didn't want to kind of eliminate wearing my glasses by having my sunglasses. I mean by having prescription glasses because I felt like if I were to get um, transition that I would just kind of like not wear my normal sunglasses as much because this is way easier to wear because the fact they just turn uh, dark whenever I walk outside so I kind of wanted to keep them separate but that's really up to you you know what I'm saying it's that's more of a personal thing um, either way you're still getting all the protection that you need you know it, obviously with the Oakley lenses even prescription they're impact resistant so that's another thing that really really put me over the edge with uh with doing oakley uh prescription lenses because you get the lightness but also you get the protection too as well which hey i mean you never know what could happen something kicks up in your face i'm pretty sure i'd rather replace a lens than an eye that's what i always say so so after i uh so after i, dro I dropped off my frame and and got my measurements and things like that and paid for it and left uh basically they said it would take two to three weeks depending on um just depending on how busy it gets over there. Because what they have to do is, like I was saying, they ship it from headquarters and they have to sh send it back. So it does take a little bit of, uh, of time. Mine took almost four weeks. And at first, uh, after about three weeks, I, I, I kind of gave him a phone call. And uh, unfortunately the optometrist wasn't there at the time. Um, but don't be worried. Uh, the only reason why it took that long is just because of the fact that their they only have a couple machines running that actually can do prescription lenses, that actually can cut the lenses. And actually one of their machines was down um, for a couple days and it kind of screwed up a lot of people's orders as far as uh, time-wise. So that's really the only reason why I got it a little bit later than uh, they, recommend they recommended I would get it. Um, but if you were to order lenses, I'm sure it should be between two to three weeks, um, depending on where you live and, and where they're, what Oakley store they're sending it to. It's just one of those things where it's just so fresh uh, that, you know, I mean, they've only had optometrists in the store for maybe, what, over a year, two years? I could be wrong on that, um, but as far as I know, uh, you know, optometrists haven't been in the stores too much. So it's like I said, it's a fresh new thing. Um, I'm, Oakley is notoriously known for doing it right and doing it right the first time. So it might it may take some time. So one other thing about when you're uh, thinking about getting Oakley uh, prescription glasses and also two lenses as well, um, make sure you might want to go to a store uh, with an optometrist in them when you go to buy the frames because I got really lucky with these, but there are some limitations if you do do like a full frame O matter uh, frame because depending on how harsh or how little your uh, prescription is, if it's too if it's too big, uh, a full frame O matter frame like this won't work. And I actually got really lucky because I picked my frames out at a, at a vault and I went over to, to an O store because the vault's closer to my house. And I got them done and he had to actually check to make sure that um, my prescription would fit in these, uh, in these frames. And luckily, apparently I just made the cut. My, uh, my prescription is pretty bad though. I want to say I'm at like negative 
in the in the negative four area, negative four point seven five, something like that. And I do have astigmatism in my eye too as well. So um, that's another thing to check too, though, is just make sure when you go, um, don't get don't get your mind set on one particular frame. Um, kind of have be open about it and make sure you ask the optometrist there. Uh, if your uh, prescription works or not. So obviously that being said, it would definitely be best to bring your prescription with you. That way um, there's no uh, questions about limitations and things like that later on when you go to get your uh, lenses put in. They only have optometrists in the O stores. The difference between O stores and vaults is vault is a discounted store. O stores are regular price stores. Right now, optometrists as far as I know are only in O stores. Um, I have heard that they are planning on putting optometrists in vaults, which would be really nice because my local Oakley store is a vault and the nearest O store is probably like four, 30 to 45 minutes away, which you know isn't around the corner and things like that. And when you have to make two trips, basically one to go get your prescription done and one to go pick it up, you know, it's, it'll be a lot better once they start putting them in the vaults. Um, there is a lot of high traffic in the vaults for prescription frames, so hopefully they're going to work into that soon and also work into, like I said before, international shipping, things like that. But um, as long as you live in the U.S. locally, um, you should be good to go. And also, too, as long as you have some time uh, to kill as far as getting your glasses, you know, you can wait a couple weeks because, like I said, they do send the order, the order over to headquarters in California. And depending on where you live, you got to wait for it to come back. I did have glasses for a little while. I, I had to wear contacts every day for a little while. But now that I finally got them in, uh, I'm very, very pleased. So I got the box here. I figured, hey, let, you know, let's, let's talk about what comes with it inside the box. So basically, you get this nice little leather Oakley case. Uh, opens up like so. And then it has the bag that my glasses, or my frames, I should say, came in. And it's very sleek. It's not too big. Uh, you got the icon in the background. Um, I wouldn't be I wouldn't say you'd be able to fit this in like a normal guy pocket this would be really good for like a woman's purse or your girlfriend's purse or something like that you could put this in definitely a good travel size though um, but definitely nice leather um, good snap to it not gonna fall out or anything like such and then obviously you have the uh, the Oakley bag too that comes with it um, hopefully when you do get Oakley uh, frames you will look into getting Oakley lenses too as well I mean you might as well put Oakley in both parts of it um, but basically the bag is really good to uh, to, to clean your glasses with uh, you definitely don't want to clean them with your shirt especially if you're getting Oakley lenses because it's the same thing as the glasses I always emphasize on people to not use your shirt when you're cleaning glasses cleaning lenses because the shirt will eventually scratch especially if your shirt gets dirty you're out all day sweating whatever you're doing outside things like that you get dust and dirt and particles on your on your uh, on your shirt and then basically you go to rub that on your glass oh hey you know whatever and you look you put them back on and there's a big scratch on them and you're all mad and things like that and basically you just uh, didn't waste but it, it, it sucks because you spent a lot of money for those for those lenses or those sunglasses and you, you could have just been using the bag Normally I just keep a bag in my pocket all the time, either when I'm wearing sunglasses or what, obviously now when I'm going to be wearing these, I usually keep a bag in my pocket. It should be able to fit in any type of pocket. If you don't have any pockets, most girls who don't have pockets, this obviously easily can fit in your purse. Um, if you can freaking carry your wallet, you can carry a bag. It's not that hard. Uh, but basically, yeah, always use the bag to clean uh, your lenses in, any, in anything, in prescription, and sunglasses will last a lot longer, a hell of a lot longer. I keep one of these on me at all times and it, I, I've never had problems with my glasses, scratches. I got a little nick here and there just from little accidents and things like that, but never from any type of uh, cleaning situations or anything like that. So just keep, always use the bag when you can. Anyways guys, that's really it for me. Um, Next video, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do next, but I definitely, as my second video, I definitely wanted to make an interesting point and uh, I definitely noticed there are a lot of people out there that did review prescription glasses, but they didn't really talk about how to get Oakley lenses done, which is definitely a new thing, and I feel like a lot of people have questions. If you have any questions, though, leave a comment down below, and I'll be uh, I'll be glad to answer them for you. Uh, 
I did talk to the guy a lot. I was a little bit knowledgeable before I went in, but I did talk to the optometrist there. And uh, I had tons of questions to ask, and he gladly answered them all. And uh, questions that, like, maybe uh, a fan or someone like that on this channel would definitely have for me. Um, but if you have any type of questions, I'm, I'm glad I'm here to help. Uh, like I said, leave a comment, and uh, make sure you like the video. Thank you, guys.